there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news update where we're going to be analysing the logo for Six Flags Fiesta Texas' 2022 attraction. Uh, so we're going to have a look at the logo in full detail and share my thoughts on it. So before we get started guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Also guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. We're on the road to 3,000 subs and 1 million views. Let's get there as soon as possible. And for now guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the logo for Six Flags Fiesta Texas, brand new attraction for next year. So I saw this on a Facebook group called Thrill Seekers United from one of their uh, uh, followers. And I thought it was an interesting analysis of the logo. So I can't remember your name, but credit goes to you if you're watching this. Uh, but he said, uh, the four lenses represent the four trains which could run on one of two different tracks. And the tracks, of course, are in the lenses. Uh, the six holes in the top pipes represent the six plungers into the unknown that you take. Five knobs show the six inversions one will take. The four sections of the nose, in brackets nose, obviously the, the mask's nose, represent the speed boost upon takeoff. And lastly, the hat tells us that this is a hat trick and each row will consist of three consecutive runs. Now, with this analysis, what am I thinking? Four trains two different tracks, six holes with representing six plungers, five knobs showing the six inversions, and the four sections of the nose, in, in quotations, represent the speed boost upon takeoff, and the hat telling us it's a hat trick, and each round will consist of three consecutive runs. Let me share my thoughts on this. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. What are my thoughts on all of them? Well, if you half it, you get what, in, in my opinion, is a West Coast racer-style roller coaster. Now, that is a uh, Mobius quadruple launch racing coaster by Premier Rise, of course, one of the rumoured manufacturers of this coaster. Uh, so, if you half it, for example, uh, if the, the four lenses represent four trains. If you half it, you've got two trains, one on each track. Um, two different tracks there. Of course, one track is half of two, which means that one track doubled is two. Uh, the six holes in the top pi pipes represent the six plunges. What if you half it, so it's three on each track? The five knobs shows the six inversions. One will take. Half it, maybe you could have three inversions per track. The four sections of the uh, quotations nose represents the speed boost upon takeoff. Um... Now, of course, that could be a speed, you could double that and have a speed boost per track, or it could be just a speed boost on one track. And the hat tells us it'll be a hat trip with a ride consisting of three consecutive runs. Now, that could potentially mean, um, you know, one run around the one track, uh, and then the, um, uh, the sort of pit stop, I guess, in between uh, halfway through, and you sort of go through the second track as a, as a run. And then maybe the, th the third consecutive run could just be... Um, I, I, maybe it's a triple track, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but I think that um, the three consecutive runs could potentially mean um, backwards as well. So maybe you could have a backwards car on it. I, I'm not too sure. It, it's an interesting one with me. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what this means. The three consecutive runs might not mean anything, to be fair. Uh, but I feel like, you know, especially with the other ones, it is definitely pointing to some kind of West Coast racer-style coaster. I, I mean, many of you out there could think differently to me. Comment down below if you do. But that's just my thinking process behind the whole thing. But uh, comment down below what you're thinking. And uh, I can't wait to see what the potential announcement's going to be. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Shell, Kill it on the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a fiesta-tastic day.